Hi, folks, it's Ron. You know, at a time when some companies are taking their manufacturing jobs overseas, our commitment to American-made quality and homegrown manufacturing has never been stronger. At Ideal, we're committed to American quality and the American electrician. Now, electrical contractors have always valued a good quality hand tool that provides with many years of service out there in the field. And for electrical contractors, the side-cutting plier here is the number one tool they'll reach for more than any other tool over in the pouch. So take a look at our new line of linesman side-cutting pliers, diagonal cutting pliers, needle nose pliers, tongue and groove pliers, cable cutters, and multi-crimp tools. You're going to find out that they're all completely made here in the USA. And in this video, we'll take a look at the 9.5 inch Wireman Smart Grip Side Cutting Plier. It's our catalog number 30-3430, and if you'd like to learn more, please contact our customer service department or visit our website. Now the plier is made with premium quality tooled steel, which provides excellent durability and it has precision made in knife to knife blades for easy cutting of conductors, hardened wire, bolts, and ACSR. Now the Smart Grip Textured Grip provides a sure grip and it's impervious to things like gas, oil, and hydraulic fluids. And the grip will always maintain its textured surface over the life of the tool and will never turn shiny and smooth on you like some comp competitors' plastic grips actually will. And the handles are also color-coded to help identify the tool while it's in the pouch. Yellow for the pliers over here, red for your cutting tools, and blue for your multi-crimp and tongue and groove type pliers. And for the guys out there a little on the colorblind side, they have raised lettered icons on the handles right here for quick identification in the pouch that can be also felt for by hand when reaching blindly into that pouch. And the tool feels really great in the hands and it's nicely balanced and opens up smoothly with just one hand. Now electricians, when they're handed a brand new side cutter, will typically hold it up to the light like this and they're looking for daylight between those cutting blades. And if they see daylight between those cutting blades, then the blades are not cutting fully through a conductor like they want. A simple test is to cut the corner of a piece of paper with the knife to knife cutting blade and if it cuts that paper cleanly, you know what, you're good to go. Another test is to see how easily the handles of the side cutter actually open up. So simply hold the plier in one hand like this and if you can easily open and close the plier, then the flush ground rivet holding the two halves of the plier together is not adding any fatigue to the electrician's hands when they're actually using these out in the field. So there's no need to oil the rivet or break it in, so to speak, until the plier does open up smoothly. Now, electricians have used these for cutting and stripping conductors to length and twisting conductors together when they make up electrical connections out in the field. Now, the nose of the plier is specifically sized to deburr the end of a conduit, and for a three-quarter and one-inch conduit, the entire nose of the plier will fit inside that conduit, and by rotating the pliers, will deburr the conduit for you. For half-inch conduit, you're only going to use one half of the nose of the plier, and either half of the plier actually works for you. And in the middle of the plier, between the handles, is a cam-action fish tape holder to grab hold of a metal fish tape when pulling wires through conduits. And it will not mar or damage the metal fish tape, and allows the electrician to pull on the tape with just one hand. Plus, there are two crimping dies, a U-shaped and a flat die, to install insulated and non-insulated terminals on the end of a conductor. And while the pliers are not hammers, guys, uh, but with that said, if you use them as a hammer, please make sure to use the side of the, uh, with the fixed rivet on it, not the side that has our Ideal logo on it, to prevent any damage to that rivet. So take a look at Ideal's full line of Made in the USA hand tools. I think you're going to be impressed with the quality and the workmanship we put into them. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.